There are some symptoms that you've probably already heard or associated with COVID-19, the disease caused by the novel coronavirus. A dry cough, fever, uh, pressure or tightness in the chest, difficulty breathing. But there's new evidence that there's another symptom that doctors should be looking for that's associated with COVID-19, the loss of your sense of smell. Now, the, the loss of uh, the sense of smell, a complete and total loss, which is something called anosmia, is something that doctors have uh, already found to be linked to viral uh, respiratory infections. And in fact, 40% of all cases of anosmia have actually been linked to viral infections. Uh, but, but that's not a symptom that doctors were previously looking for for COVID-19. There were other symptoms that, uh, that were on their checklist. However, uh, evidence that doctors are now starting to compile based on patients that they're seeing uh, in Europe and also in the United States suggests that, that the loss of the sense of smell is a symptom that they are seeing in people that have been diagnosed with COVID-19. In fact, there have been a number of cases in several countries where patients who didn't display any of the symptoms that are normally associated with COVID-19 uh, still had, uh, had, had the loss of their sense of smell. And so, so doctors are now saying that it's important that healthcare providers recognize this and add this to the list of the symptoms that they look for when they're, uh, when they're checking to see if people are in fact sick with COVID-19. And just to give you a sense of how widespread this is, when doctors in Bonn, Germany, interviewed about 100 patients who had been diagnosed with COVID-19 and asked them about their symptoms, they found that 70% of them described having a total loss of their sense of smell, to the point where someone said that she couldn't smell her child's dirty diaper, or they couldn't smell their own shampoo, or that food lost its taste. So it seems like this uh, this may be something that should be added to the general checklist. And in fact, especially if people are experiencing this symptom, but not other more obvious symptoms, or symptoms that people are already looking for, as a sign of COVID-19 infection, it's possible that there, uh, this could help doctors identify people who should be self-isolating and not walking around and potentially transmitting the disease to more people.